Hey everybody, Jeff here and welcome back to the channel where we give you all sorts of world-class advice on remodeling your homes, your kitchens, your bathrooms. We cover tool reviews, engineering disasters, cover shop with me through the stores and everything. But today we're doing neither because now that we're all stuck at home with stay at home orders and we're stuck cleaning our surfaces every five minutes, we wanted to do a public service announcement here for you. We wanted to show you and go over with you, how do you know that these products that you are using will kill the coronavirus? So I've got these two here. How do I know if these two work? Now, undoubtedly, a lot of you are using a whole bunch of products out there that you think are working, but yet they probably aren't. And you can't just assume that they are. And you also can't assume, well, if it has bleach or this or that in it, that it's going to be working either. So how do you tell? In today's video, we're going to show you there's a very exact method on how to determine whether each individually one of these bottles will kill the coronavirus here. So here we're going to show you how to determine before you even pick this up from the shelf in the store and buy it, whether or not this will kill the coronavirus. Before you even leave the store, we're going to show you exactly how to look it up and find out. I'm an engineer by trade, and so over the years as being an engineer, we always do everything by spec, by building codes. You know, we do things by federal agency rulings and stuff like that. So it turns out that the EPA, which is the Environmental Protection Agency maintains this list called List N. That list will tell you if the products on that list will kill the coronavirus. And so how do you find out? Well, you take your product here and you flip it around on the back and there's little teeny tiny label numbers on the back here. Okay, now this is important information, folks. Your safety is at risk. So only get your data from these valuable sources like the EPA. So I'll put a link down in the description below here for you directly to the EPA's list N. The EPA's list N, what this is, is a pesticide registration. And so all of the chemicals that have been known and proven to kill the, the coronavirus here will be on this list. And if your product doesn't show up on this list, then, well, you can still use it, but don't think that it's going to kill the coronavirus. It's not going to sanitize. It's so important that you bounce every one of these products that you're using here off of the EPA's list N so that you know that it's going to kill the coronavirus. Don't listen to somebody else, some neighbor, somebody on a forum that said they already checked. You look it up, your own product, yourself. God we trust, all others bring data. That's what I always say. Okay, so now we head over to the EPA's List N on their website, and I will put a link to this down in the description for you so you can easily get to it. Here you can see they've got, you know, several hundred different products on this list. And the list is updated pretty much every couple of days. So what I want you to do now is go get whatever product you have, your disinfectant wipes, your cleaners, whatever you have. Go get your bottle, turn it around in the fine print on the bottom there and find the EPA registration number. Now it will say EPA reg no, because <laughs> it's abbreviated, but that's the number you want. So for example, this one here is 5813-79. That's the number you want to get. You get that number and you go to EPA's website and we'll put the link in the description down below and it shows you how to look that number up and if it's on the table there you're good to go another thing you'll notice too as you scrutinize the back labels of these is that all of them are made in the USA at least most of the ones we've bought from Clorox and from Sam's Club okay so the first product we're looking at here is the Clorox disinfecting bathroom cleaner now this is a bleach free cleaner and just like all the other cleaners this one says here that it kills 99.9% .9 of germs now when you flip over to the back label here and you look down here in the fine print it says the EPA registration number of 5813-40 and it also has additional EPA numbers here for like California, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, that sort of stuff. But you take that registration number and enter it onto the EPA's end list to see if it's on there. You can see here this product has a 10 minute contact time where it must remain wet. So this meets the EPA's criteria for use against the coronavirus. Okay, next up on the list here is these Members Mark disinfectant wipes. Now, Members Mark is the house brand for Sam's Club Wholesale Club. So if you're a member of Sam's Club and you go in, this is what you can also get there. When we went in, they didn't have the Lysol. This is what they had, their own generic brand. So we grabbed these and we'll see if these are able to kill the coronavirus as well. Okay, so these Sam's Club wipes also make the same claims as all the other ones before. It says here, kills cold and flu virus, kills 99% of bacteria in 15 seconds. And this is all 
always made me wonder about all of these products since they act similar and they make similar claims. I always wondered if the same manufacturer is making all of these for these companies. You might be surprised to learn that Clorox does not make their own wipes. These are made for Clorox by another company. Okay, so as we look at the back label here on the Sam's Club here, we can see it has a registration number of 6836-336. Dash five six nine five two. So we're going to take that number here that we got off of the members mark and enter it here. So the Sam's Club disinfecting wipes do indeed meet the EPA's criteria for use against SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Well, I can't stress enough for you the importance of this contact time and keeping the product wet on the surface that you're trying to sanitize. So right here on the back of the label here on the, on the instructions here, it says here, wipe until the surface is visibly wet. Use enough wipes to keep surfaces visibly wet for four minutes. Allow surface to remain wet for four minutes. Let air dry. So that means you don't wipe it off afterwards. Just wipe it, keep it nice and wet for four minutes, and then you're done. Let it dry naturally. Okay, now we have the Lysol all-purpose cleaner here, and it too claims that it kills 99.9% .9 of all bacteria and viruses. So when we turn the bottle around and check the label close up, we can see it has an EPA registration number of 777-66. So this meets the EPA's criteria for use against the coronavirus. All right, so the next product we have here is the Clorox disinfectant wipes. And likewise, when we turn this bottle around here and look at the fine print on the back here. All right, so now when we look on the bottom of the back of the container here, 5813-79. So this meets the EPA's criteria for use against the coronavirus. Now we look at the Lysol toilet bowl cleaner here. Let's flip it around. And we can see the EPA registration number here for this Clorox toilet bowl cleaner is 777-70. This meets the EPA's criteria for use against the coronavirus. Okay, now one thing that we're all guilty of is really how much does any of us know about how to sanitize something, right? If, if my hands are contaminated right now with the virus and I go, oh, I need a wipe, guess what? I'm touching this thing now. I'm opening it up and now I've contaminated the bottle with my hand, right? Now I pull out a wipe, okay? So anyway, the best thing to do, I think, is I wash my hands first with soap and water, get them nice and clean. Once they're clean, I'll come over with my clean hands, not dirty hands now. I lift up the lid and get, get it ready like that. So that way, if I have to come up with dirty gloves on or even if my hands are contaminated, I'll just pull the thing out like this. Now, how do you break it? What do you use your elbow? Is your elbow clean, you know? And you know, you're touching everything. So you just have to use good common sense here. And then is this surface clean or is it contaminated? Did I wipe it down all the way first, right? And, and did everything get nice and, and sanitized? The other problem here too is what we call contact time. So a lot of people might make the mistake of just taking this, and I see a lot of doctors showing people too how to wipe off your groceries, right? Just give it a quick wipe and, and uh, wipe it off. But the problem is, is some of these need a certain amount of contact time in order to be effective. 
And on that chart that I'll show you, some of them need between five and 10 minutes of, of being wet. So you can't just wipe this thing down and then wipe it clean with a towel or something. You have to wipe it down like this and I would just leave it leave it wet like that and let it evaporate on its own over a few minutes. Some of the products on the list only require a minute. Some products require up to 10 minutes of contact time. So those are two important things you need to look up. When you're in the store, look at the back of the label, bounce it off of the list and from the EPA and see how much the contact time is. Well, I hope the information we're giving you here so far is really helping you out and that it's made a big paradigm shift in the way you've been looking at things so far, because I can guarantee you a lot of us have been doing this stuff wrong. Hey, this is new, new ground for all of us, you know? Even the, the healthcare professionals have a hard time sanitizing and not knowing, hey, is there a few particles here? Did I just touch here and now it's here and now it's there? And then I went and touched somebody else and you can sanitize all you want, but man, it's, it's a real nightmare trying to kill this stuff. And particularly if you don't don't use these products correctly according to the instructions, all right? So anyway, if you like this video, do us a favor, huh? give us a thumbs up down below, share it with your friends because I guarantee you'll be their hero. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, hey, all I can say is why haven't you folks? There's so many great videos here for you. So make sure you click on that subscribe button down below. And when you do that, click the little gray bell icon. Why, why is that so important? Because when you click that gray bell icon, you can then tell YouTube, I want to receive alerts from this channel. So whenever we upload a new video or whenever we do a live stream, you'll be first to know about it. You don't want to miss out on that. All right, well, thank you so much for tuning in, folks. I really hope this helps you out, and we'll see you on the next one.